Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. I thought today it would be fun to share some happy mail that I've received in the last few days. There are some more po um, cards at the post office, but I went to check it today. Today's Saturday when I'm recording this. <laughs> and um, they hadn't put them in my post office box yet, and they close at 12, so I won't be able to get those until Monday. But uh, I got a whole stack here of Christmas cards and a couple packages, not this. <laughs> I just bought that myself. But, um, so I'm gonna show what I got. So first, I'll show this little package. This is from Rebecca. And uh, I've talked about li really liking these drinks a lot and I haven't been able to find them at my Walmart. These water, you put them in water bottles and it's energizing um, flavoring. <laughs> so she found some at her Walmart and she sent them to me. <laughs> she said they were the only two on the whole shelf. So uh, I guess that's a really popular flavor. But it's pomegranate lemonade and I love drinking those. That's what I drink every morning to just give me like a caffeine boost because they have caffeine in them. Anyways, I got that one. And then I got another box of fabric. Ooh, this is box number three of five. So um, this is from Jill. She's sending me fabric because uh, she's going through her sash and getting rid of it a lot. And um, I gotta make her a bag. That's all she asked for is for me to make her a tote bag. So I'm gonna show you what she sent. <laughs> this is a green, so this would be great for liners. This is a really cool print. This is like a canvas print, so it's thicker, but it would be great for tote bags because it's thicker, so it would give more like sturdiness to the bags. But it's this really cool train print. It's got like trains on it, and in the background it's got uh, Pacific Railroad stuff. And it's just like old um, newspaper clippings and stuff of train-related things. This is really cool. We have a train museum here in the county next to us that we visit a lot. Pre-COVID, I took Jesse there and a lot of vlogs to do a story time. Uh, there's a lady there who, she partners with PBS, which is a public uh, broadcasting company or whatever <laughs> station. Um, and uh, she would just read stories to preschool age kids, like kindergarten age under. Uh, and me and Jesse's go to it all the time and they would do snacks sometimes and crafts. And I haven't been able to since COVID. <laughs> but uh, they also have trains and stuff set up there you can look around at. Uh, if you've watched me for a while, you know that we've been there a lot. Because in a lot of passive vlogs, we uh, we stop by there and just hang out. So this is really cool. But this will probably be tote bags. Like for sure it'll be tote bags. Because it's uh, like a canvasy material. So it's too thick to be drawstring bags. All right. I haven't looked at all these. I opened it but I didn't. I just kind of looked in it. Uh, this looks like a... What is on this? I can't even tell. There's alphabets. And looks like, uh, I don't even know. I can't even, like, distinguish what it is. <laughs> looks like it might be an airplane on there and uh, a whale and some apples. I don't know what that's, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's interesting, but there's that. <laughs> and then it looks like there's some pretty pink. Be good miners. This is a pinstripe. It looks like it's like a white with a gray stripe on it. Again, it'd be good for liners. Red liners. <laughs> it's a big old pieces of fabric. This is a really pretty floral print. Very pretty. And this is weird. What kind of fabric is this? This is like something you would make um, something out of. I don't know. I'll, I'll find something to use it for. <laughs> Almost feels microfibery on that one side. And then there's this piece. This feels like a lot. This is like sewing odds and ends or crafting odds and ends I guess. Yeah because it's got buttons, scissors, thread, um, like embroidery floss needles, those little tomatoes you put uh, pins in. So this it's sewing but it's, it could also just be any craft because I mean you can use a lot of stuff for different crafts. <laughs> this one looks like it's inside out. Let me turn it. Ooh, this is cute. Okay, turn it the right way. Seems like it's a yard. Okay. This is like a barn print. Oh, this is cute. It's like a winter. It's got barns on it. Little little barns. They're birdhouses. They're birdhouse barns, and there's a little cardinal. This one looks, it's one of those big birdhouses. Those like apartment ones. So they're so cute. That's cute. Those will be cute bags. 
And another little floral print. This is one I would use for a liner because the print's so small. And then at the very bottom, there's this is a uh, felt, big old piece of black felt. That's cool. That would be good for liner, the back side of liners of crochet. What do, I, do I have one hanging up in here somewhere? Where is it? It's on my bathroom door. It's like a crochet, uh, it's supposed to be a garden flag by Heidi Yates, but I hang it in my house every year. It's on my bathroom door, but I don't want to carry you over there. Uh, I have it lined with felt on the back, so this would be perfect for stuff like that. Or um, putting on the back of anything like that, you know, to keep it nice on the back. <laughs> so yeah, that's that box. That's box number three. Whew, that's a lot. I don't see how she crams them all in these little boxes. Because I could never get them back in the box the way she put them in there. We're just going to do that, and I'll organize it later. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jill, for that. That's going to help so much. Like, I don't even know if you know how much that helps us here. Because, you know, in order for me to make, make bags, I have to buy the all the products to make the bags. So when anyone gifts me fabric, it helps cut the cost of my out-of-pocket for having to buy everything to make bags with in the first place. So it's always nice when I get fabric. All right, Christmas cards. I got a whole stack. I got some of these last week and some of them today. And then I think there's three or four on my email but i didn't get them today they might be in there now but our post office closes in about an hour and devin's gone so i'll have to get on monday i tried to keep all these with their envelopes so hopefully i did good all right oh this is from pamela ah almost through it <laughs> okay this first one is from pamela she has a youtube channel called pamela's adoring crochet she, where does she live at? I always forget. arkansas yeah i knew that i just forgot <laughs> so this is from pamela this is the coolest card ever. This is from uh, Melanie. And I've seen someone else, I think Carrie Penny got the same card. And it's so cool because it's like a photo card, but it's a cartoon photo card. Um, I'm going to cover up her family's names because she may not want her family's names on there. Her kid's name. But it's like a family photo card, but it's like a cartoon family. I think it's so cool. And this is what they look like. I don't know about her daughter. I haven't seen her daughter. But I've seen a, her picture, her profile picture with her and her husband in it. And it looks like them. And then on the reef, it's got a game controller, a Pokeball, a R for their last name, a yarn ball, a cat, a football, and an anchor. And I'm assuming those are important to them. I know the yarn ball is probably important to her. And the controller and Pokeball, you know, for Pokemon Go, I guess. And um, that is so cute. I want to know where she is. There's a copyright. Thing. Snapfish. She made it with Snapfish. That is so cool. Um, I'm going to have to look into that. I wasn't going to do Christmas cards this year, but this is making me really want to do one. But I, re I really can't because it's financially expensive when you have so many people to send cards to. But uh, I might look into this next year because that is adorable because it's, it's personalized because it's your family, but it's not you know, because, like, she knows me from watching videos, but she doesn't know me personally. So, it's it's like she's sending us her, but not an actual picture of her. So, it's, it's cool. And the back, it says, may your toilet paper roll be full and your fridge full of food. Most importantly, stay safe and have a happy holiday season. I just thought that was so cool. We never both thought it was so cool. Anyways, next card. <laughs> this one's from Wendy, and she lives in Connecticut. Super cute. I love the little penguin. I love penguins. What else is on there? A little snowman and presents. Looks like they lost a present. <laughs> okay, this one is from Linnell. She lives in Ohio. Buffalo plaid. I know it's super popular. A lot of people love buffalo plaid. The snowman's holding a birdhouse. And Santa's got presents. <laughs> this one is from... Let me make sure she's right because I don't want to... I'm afraid I got the envelopes messed up. This one's from Gloria from Tennessee. She lives close to me, as in the same state. <laughs> Super cute snowman. He's got candy canes sticking out of his pocket. What's that sign say? Oh, it says like uh, season greetings. All right, this one. Let me check and make sure this is right envelope. Yeah. Okay, this one is from Diane in New Jersey. Santa putting a scarf on the snowman. This one. Let's see here. This one is from Erica, and she's also in New Jersey. It's peace, love, and joy. I 
can't remember. No, I can't remember if it had something on the inside of it. Really pretty. This one is from Terry at Your Enjoy Podcast. She's got a stamp with Your Enjoy Podcast on it and a little owl. I need to get one of those made for no catchy name, but it's a cute polar bear looking up at like a swirl of magical snow. <laughs> That's so cute. He's sitting on a chimney. She lives in Texas, though. I know that. That is so cool. I love that she's got a stamp with her. That's cool. <laughs> I'm going to have to get one of those. All right. And then this one. I got this. I got Terry's today and these next two today. This is from Michelle in Washington State, I think. WA, he's not Washington. <laughs> and this is a really pretty card. It's super glittery. I don't know if you can see it. But it's like a family outside. The little boy's pulling a sled with a teddy bear on it. The, the dad is with some dogs. And then the mom and daughter's back here carrying some presents. Oh, I would love to have a house like that. So there's another birdhouse in the tree, and there's a little bird up here. <laughs> that is such a pretty card. Oh, it's Thomas Kincaid. Oh, I would love to have a house like that. One of these days, maybe. All right, and the last one that I got so far is from Tiffany, and she lives in California. Is that right? I think so. All right, this is a cool, like, foldy outy card. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's got this shape, and then you can see the pretty trees. And it says, all is calm and bright. And it's, it looks like a watercolor picture. And then it opens this way and this way. And she wrote notes in her. But she said that she saw the card and she thought of me. Because of how we always go on hikes and stuff in the woods and all that. Uh, with the nature around us. We're so lucky to live in Tennessee. Tennessee is such a beautiful place. If you've never been, you need to come and visit. Especially, um, I would suggest Fall Creek Falls Park. Which is in Van Buren County, Tennessee. I grew up there a lot as a child. And also, of course, Gatlinburg. Gatlinburg is like my favorite place in the world. <laughs> and uh, actually, Gat Gatlinburg too, not Pigeon Forge. Pigeon Forge is fun. There's a lot of stuff to do there, but it's super touristy. Gatlinburg is more in nature, and it's more fun than Pigeon Forge. Because Pigeon Forge is just full of people all the time. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's what I say. She also, her mom um, likes watching me too. That's cool. And she also sent some of these cute little stickers. Let's see here. Little dinosaur. <laughs> oh gosh. Look at the long necks. Their scarves are wrapped around, 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 around their neck. That's so cute. Oh, uh, let's see here. This, I think it's Daggettosaurus, and he's got Santa hats on all his little spikes. <laughs> he's wearing little boots. I don't know what this thing's called. And then the T Rex is carrying presents. I love that scarf on that neck. That is so cute. <laughs> and then there's a Triceratops poking out of a Christmas present. These are probably meant for Jesse. Did she say that? Where is that? I thought I read that somewhere. Okay, I don't see where it says, so that means we can share them. <laughs> I might have overlooked it up. Let me stick them back in there. All right, now that I got all these showed, I can hang them up on my wall over here, and then I'll insert a photo at the end of this uh, showing the wall <laughs> and uh they'll be i'll be getting some more monday i seen them today there was like three or four in there but they weren't in the actual peel box yet they our post office opens at 8 30 and we got there right around 8 30 because i had to drop off an order and um so they just hadn't had the time to get to my peel box yet so that's fine but uh i will show them in the next happy mail video <laughs> and i will show this real quick this is no one said this to me i bought it myself i just bought it earlier but i've been really loving puzzles so i went and i wanted to get a new puzzle and i found this at walmart so i bought it it was 14 dollars, and it comes with one 750 piece two 500 pieces and two 300 piece puzzles i had a really hard time deciding between this one and the one with the disney villains on it but i chose this one because it has brighter prettier colors this one's round, so that'll be fun. But um, I finished the one that I got from Valerie in my ornament swap, and I did take pictures of that. It'll be in my vlog over on the Life channel if you want to check that out. Uh, that vlog will probably be coming out tomorrow, Sunday, the 13th. Yeah. Actually, it's already out because I forgot this video isn't coming out today. <laughs> but anyways, it's on the vlog channel. But um, So that's two puzzles I've finished so far this year. And now I'm going to open these up and start trying to finish them. It's a lot of fun, and um, then I'll just cycle back through 
and I'm probably gonna end up getting obsessed and buying a bunch of puzzles, but that's okay, because they're fun. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and hang up my Christmas cards and take a photo for you guys to see all of them put together. Bye guys.